qualitative analysis of oils and fats solubility test desi ghee using a spatula take a small amount of desi ghee in a test tube using a dropper take about 5 ml of water add it into the test tube containing desi ghee desi ghee is immiscible that is not mixable in water now take a small amount of desi ghee in another test tube using another dropper take about 5 ml of alcohol add it into the test tube containing desi ghee desi ghee forms a lower layer hold the test tube with the test tube holder heat the test tube over the bunsen burner the lower layer of ghee dissolves on heating again take a small amount of desi ghee in another test tube Using another dropper, take about 5 ml of chloroform. Add it into the test tube containing desi ghee. Desi ghee is miscible, that is, mixable in chloroform. Vegetable ghee. Using a spatula, take a small amount of vegetable ghee in a test tube. Using a dropper, take about 5 ml of water. Add it into the test tube containing vegetable ghee. Vegetable ghee is immiscible, that is not mixable in water. Take a small amount of vegetable ghee in another test tube. Using another dropper, take about 5 ml of alcohol. Add it into the test tube containing vegetable ghee. Vegetable ghee forms a lower layer. Hold the test tube with the test tube holder. Heat the test tube over the Bunsen burner. The lower layer of ghee dissolves on heating. Again, take a small amount of vegetable ghee in another test tube. Using another dropper, take about 5 ml of chloroform. Add it into the test tube containing vegetable ghee. Vegetable ghee is miscible, that is, mixable in chloroform. refined oil using a dropper take a small quantity of refined oil in a test tube using another dropper take about 5 ml of water add it into the test tube containing refined oil oil is immiscible that is not mixable in water Now take a small amount of refined oil in another test tube. Using another dropper, take about 5 ml of alcohol. Add it into the test tube containing refined oil. The oil forms a lower layer. Hold the test tube with the test tube holder. Heat the test tube over the Bunsen burner. The lower layer of oil dissolves on heating. Again, take a small quantity of refined oil in another test tube. Using another dropper, take about 5 ml of chloroform. Add it into the test tube containing refined oil. Oil is miscible, that is mixable in chloroform. translucent spot test desi ghee 
take a small amount of desi ghee using a spatula. Put it on a filter paper. Then press the substance on the filter paper using another filter paper. A translucent spot appears on the filter paper. The reason is that when fat or oil is placed on a sheet of paper, it diffracts light. The diffracted light can pass from one side of the paper to the other, giving a translucent spot. Vegetable Ghee Take a small amount of vegetable ghee using a spatula. Put it on a filter paper. Then press the substance on the filter paper using another filter paper. A translucent spot appears on the filter paper. The reason is that when fat or oil is placed on a sheet of paper, it diffracts light. The diffracted light can pass from one side of the paper to the other, giving a translucent spot. Refined Oil Take a small quantity of refined oil using a dropper. Drop a few drops on the filter paper. Then press the substance on the filter paper using another filter paper. A translucent spot appears on the filter paper. The reason is that when fat or oil is placed on a sheet of paper, it diffracts light. The diffracted light can pass from one side of the paper to the other, giving a translucent spot. Boudoua Test Desi Ghee Using a dropper, take a small quantity of melted desi ghee in a test tube. Using another dropper, add 5 ml concentrated hydrochloric acid into the test tube. Then add about 3 drops of 2% furfural solution into the test tube. Keep it aside for 5 to 10 minutes. There will be no characteristic change indicating that pure desi ghee does not contain sesame oil. Vegetable Ghee Using a dropper, take a small quantity of melted vanaspati ghee in a test tube. Using another dropper, add 5 ml concentrated hydrochloric acid into the test tube. Then add about 3 drops of 2% furfural solution into the test tube. Keep it aside for 5 to 10 minutes. Rose red color appears, indicating that Vanaspati ghee contains sesame oil. Hubel's test Cotton seed oil Using a dropper, take about 3 ml of chloroform in a test tube. Using another dropper, take a small quantity of cotton seed oil and add about 4 drops of it into the test tube. Shake the test tube well. Take a small quantity of Hubel's reagent using a dropper. Add about 3 drops of Hubel's reagent into the test tube containing the mixture of chloroform and cotton seed oil. The violet color of iodine in the Hubel's reagent does not fade away, indicating that cotton seed oil is less unsaturated. Linseed oil Using a dropper, take about 3 ml of chloroform in a test tube. Using another dropper, Take a small quantity of linseed oil and add about 4 drops of it into the test tube. Shake the test tube well. 
take a small quantity of Hubel's reagent using a dropper. Add about 3 drops of Hubel's reagent into the test tube containing the mixture of chloroform and linseed oil. The violet color of iodine in the Hubel's reagent fades away, indicating that linseed oil is more unsaturated. Acroline test We require desi ghee, potassium bisulfate crystals, test tube, spatula, bunsen burner, etc. Using a spatula, take a small amount of desi ghee in a test tube. Using another spatula, take a small quantity of potassium bisulfate crystals. Add potassium bisulfate crystals into the test tube. Hold the test tube with the test tube holder. Heat the test tube over the Bunsen burner. When fat is heated strongly in the presence of a dehydrating agent like potassium bisulfate, the glycerol portion of the molecule is dehydrated to form an unsaturated aldehyde called acroline, which has a pungent irritating odour. Vegetable Ghee Using a spatula, take a small amount of vegetable ghee in a test tube. Using another spatula, take a small quantity of potassium bisulfate crystals. Add potassium bisulfate crystals into the test tube. Hold the test tube with the test tube holder. Heat the test tube over the Bunsen burner. When fat is heated strongly in the presence of a dehydrating agent like potassium bisulfate, the glycerol portion of the molecule is dehydrated to form an unsaturated aldehyde called acroline, which has a pungent, irritating odour. Refined Oil Using a dropper, take a small amount of refined oil in a test tube. Using a spatula, take a small quantity of potassium bisulfate crystals. Add potassium bisulfate crystals into the test tube. Hold the test tube with the test tube holder. Heat the test tube over the Bunsen burner. When fat is heated strongly in the presence of a dehydrating agent like potassium bisulfate, the glycerol portion of the molecule is dehydrated to form an unsaturated aldehyde called acroline, which has a pungent, irritating odour.